Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to 3306. This is where I take a look at the news and happenings in and around Elite Dangerous. This week, the Elite Community Meet has been postponed. Frontier implement a studio-wide work-from-home policy. And there's a rather interesting, amazingly realistic immersion mod. The Elite Community Meet for this year has now unfortunately been postponed, and this is due to recent UK advisement about social events and groups. Now this really is a huge shame as the event was set to be the biggest ECM so far with a load of activities planned, not to mention Frontier being in attendance. However, the change of plans is completely understandable and without a doubt the correct thing to be doing. For those of you who have purchased tickets, ECM will be offering full refunds and for more details on this do check out the forum post on the event. Now, the people behind ECM are certainly never ones to give up. And with that in mind, they are pressing ahead with a virtual event. The ECM will aim to bring together the community in a similar manner to the physical event, but this time in virtual space. Online meetups and socialising, a lot of shared gaming, and there will also be a live Artemis Bridge Crew event using the special rig that has been built for this show. Uh, players will also be invited to join the crew for this. In addition to TeamSpeak rooms, there will also be a dedicated Oculus Home Meetup for those with the ability to join that. Also, a special raffle had been arranged for ECM, and this will still be taking place. So it certainly sounds like it will be a lot of fun, and more details on how this uh, virtual event will be taking place, along with how to get involved, will be published very soon, so do keep an eye out for all of that. Now, on a related subject, and again following UK government advice on working from home where possible, Frontier today announced that the studio have implemented a work from home policy across the entire studio. Their forum post, which you can find linked below, details that they will continue to support their games, including all online functionality. The community team, as well as the customer support, will also continue to be available. They also clarify that for now they don't anticipate any major changes to their plans for any of their current titles. However, they have stated they will keep us up to date should these things change. So all the best to everyone. I really do hope you're all taking care of yourself at very, very important times. This week, Frontier are asking players to submit their Hollow Me avatars for inclusion in a surprise video. The recent forum thread asks for players to send in their entry with a screenshot as follows. You can see it detailed on the screen right here. And whilst they've said they won't be able to include everyone, the idea here is for these avatars to somehow be featured in the video. Now, whatever this ultimately turns out to be, there's really no telling. But if you are interested, then check out the link to the forum thread where you can find out all the necessary instructions. The Fuel Rats are pretty much a mainstay for Elite Dangerous at this point. The group is so well known that they are in some respect entirely synonymous with the game itself. In fact, they have now conducted so many rescues of Fuel-less commanders that they recently hit their 70,000th rescue. The 70,000th rescue was conducted by Commanders Revanov as well as Darth Tao. There's also an interesting story to go along with this latest rescue that you can find linked below. The Fuel Rats continue to rescue players all across the galaxy, and no distance is too great. If you ever find yourself lost in deep space and out of fuel, then the Fuel Rats are certainly willing to help you out. So, my congrats to the Fuel Rats then for so many rescues, and here's to another 70,000. The Amazingly Realistic Immersion Mod Now this is something that was released back in January, and it's something I've actually been meaning to mention for weeks now, over here on these 3306 videos, so I apologise for the delays here. But what this actually is, it's a small utility that will allow you to modify uh, basically how Elite Dangerous works. Now, the author is pretty clear that this doesn't appear to uh, interfere or break Frontier's EULA, and judging by the fact that the forum thread is still available, then it certainly is likely that it's fine. Uh, basically, it doesn't change any game files, it doesn't interfere with any game files, it simply intercepts certain graphical tasks and uh, modifies them. So, such features that this will allow you to use are full black space. So, you're about to get rid of the interstellar dust clouds and just have space look absolutely black with uh, nice, some nice stars. Unfortunately, it does remove some of the distant galaxies as well as the distant nebula, but other than that, it will give you pure black space if that's something that you're actually after. Uh, following on from that, there's a toggle for black shadows which will remove 
uh, some of the additional lighting in space, making shadows far darker than they currently are. Some other options include no external HUD elements, the ability to turn off cockpit lights, a cleaner HUD, space snow removed. Uh, snow in space, of course, is that space dust that you get as you're flying around. Now, personally, that's something I would really love to remove, uh, so it's a great feature to have. Um, cockpit smoke can also be removed, as well as fog from rings. Again, these are optional. So if this is something that you would like to check out, do have a look in the video description. You'll find a link there to a forum thread, which gives you all the instructions that you actually need to do this. Now, if on the other hand, you're not too keen to try this out for yourself initially, then I will be releasing a video on this before much longer, where I will walk you through how to activate it, how to use it, as well as the display, basically, how each feature actually works. So do keep an eye out for that. That then brings us to the end of this episode of 3306. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.